Okay, you guys ready? Let's see here. Oh yeah. Whoops, <laughs> here we go. It's a this lot harder than it looks, I can tell you that. So anybody think, thinks this is easy, I just want to ride Reba though. <laughs> so, she, so Reba's the favorite over Bud? Yeah. My Western Palace, oh, the sweet. Amazon of, for Cowboys. Here we go. The oh, new wow. Brand new. new. If you're a Nebraska volleyball fan, you know exactly where we are. We're in the Devaney Center, and I am sitting down with Nebraska head volleyball coach John Cook. John, thanks for joining us on Breaking the Barrier this week. I'm honored. This is, <laughs> uh, I'm very excited about uh, spending time with you guys this morning. Awesome. Well, admittedly, there were two things I wanted to be growing up, and that was a cowgirl and a Nebraska volleyball player. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I've missed the boat on one of those things. Um, but today we're chatting because recently you have taken an interest in horses and rodeo and now even have a couple horses of your own. Um, how did you get here? Tell us about that whole process and uh, Reba and Bud. <laughs> well, it's, it's a fascinating story. Um, and we built a place up in Wyoming. And of course, is what I'm learning now, having horses and rodeo is a lifestyle. And uh, so we were kind of thinking, well, maybe you want horses. And my son, who graduated from Nebraska, got his master's, has been up there working in Wyoming for the last few years. Well, he met a girl and she took him horseback riding. And he said, we got to get horses. We got the <laughs> land, we can do it all. And I'm like, yeah, right. You know how much work they are? And so long story short, um, Lindsay Peterson, my director of ops, who played for our Nebraska volleyball. She's from uh, Lewiston, Nebraska down there. And uh, she's got horses. And so I've, she's always talking about horses. And I see her on our flights looking at the horse magazines. and. And she's got four boys, two to eight years old. So she was looking for a horse for them. And we were actually playing at Wisconsin for the Big Ten Championship last late November, Thanksgiving week. And her husband went down, found this horse in Kansas and called her right before the match and said, uh, Bud's a little too much for our boys, but maybe John would love a horse. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what the heck, why not? <laughs> <laughs> so load them up and bring Bud back. Yeah. So that's kind of how that started. And uh, so we got Bud and I started riding Bud and Lindsay and I would go down at her place down in Martell and ride and it was great. And uh, then I needed to get a saddle and, and a horse trailer. And, and, uh, and then what I read about horses, they don't like to be by themselves. So. My son at the time was looking in Wyoming for other horses and I'm like, Taylor, let me, uh, let me, I got some connections down here. And, and so uh, Kelly Hunter, my assistant coach, lives with Curtis Welch, who used to rodeo for Nebraska. His family's from Scotts Bluff. Well, he connected me to the Dibberins in Riverdale, Nebraska. And next <laughs> thing I know, I'm out riding Reba with bulls out in Riverton, Nebraska. <laughs> and uh, Lindsay and I left and we were going to look at another horse and Colin said he would sell me Reba and I got about 10 miles from their house. I pulled the car over. I called Colin. I said, Colin, I just fell in love. So I'd love to buy Reba and we canceled looking at the other horse. And so that's why I have two horses now. And, and, and Reba is a cow horse, a roping horse. And he said, you got to start roping. So I started roping and, you know, I've, I've hit a lot of volleyball, so I got pretty good hand-eye coordination. And, mm -hmm. and um, so roping, I'm already made a hundred bucks roping. So I oh, feel wow. like I'm a pro roper already. More than, more than a lot of cowboys <laughs> was, can say. It was a bet at a party with all those guys and they, and my assistant coach Kelly bet me a hundred bucks. I couldn't rope this dummy over here. <laughs> Uh, she gave me three tries, second one nailed it. Oh my so. gosh, well, you're more profitable than many <laughs> pro rodeo yeah. cowboys right now, if I dare to say it. Yeah. So, so at what point or what moment were you like, wow, this is, this is really fun and this is something that I actually want to continue to do? Yeah. You know, Rebel, I've thought a lot about it, like how this has happened. And um, first of all, I've met an incredible group of people 
in the horse world in Nebraska, in the rodeo world. And I'm sure we'll talk later about the rodeo club here and I've gotten involved with them. So I've met this incredible group of people and it's, it, to me it's like a, a family it's a, or a club. It's everybody's connected, everybody helps each other out. So it's, a lot, it's given me confidence that I can do this. And uh, second of all, um, I thought about coaching, you know, and I, I always talk about people that are in high achieving positions or are high achievers, and I'm, we're in that spot here at Nebraska Volleyball. You've got to have a hobby. And, you know, both my kids moved to Wyoming. We built a place up there. Okay, I need a hobby. And, and so, horse, when I ride Bud or Reba, I don't think about Nebraska Volleyball. It's a, just a great mental escape stress relief, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the third thing that has fascinated me is riding a horse to me is like coaching. And it's already made me think a lot about how I coach and how I want to coach because I get to work with these great athletes that are just like great horses. <laughs> and they're spirited, they've got energy, they want to go. But you have to build a relationship with those horses. You gotta build their trust. And we talk about that all the time in Nebraska Volleyball, how, how important trust is. And, and Reba's been a fascinating case for me because Reba is all business. She, I mean, she's rodeoed and roped and worked every day. You get on her and she's, she's not lovey-dovey. But Bud's a lover boy. He, <laughs> he just wants to put his head on your shoulder. And you know, Reba's all about where are we going? What are we doing? And, now that I've built up trust with her and I've got a chance to work with her, all of a sudden now she's putting her head on my shoulder and it's like, okay, we're working today, let's go. And, and it's almost like she, she shares this appreciation of when we do go out and we get to work and ride and, and it's like she wants to give back, like she loves it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's helping me become a better coach too on, on working with horses and riding horses and, and reminding me how important all that is in, in building a great team and coaching great players. Yeah, absolutely. So volleyball is obviously a very mental sport. And I, I would argue that when you're riding a horse, a lot of the things that you're thinking and feeling really transfers to them. Have you noticed that? And how has that impacted your view on your mental game and kind of the positive thinking realm? Yeah, well, like I said, I don't, when, when I'm riding a horse, I'm thinking about how am I working with this horse, communicating with them. And I've learned about leg pressure and where my butt sits on the saddle <laughs> and the messages I'm sending. And then throw all that in trying to rope. It's, that's a whole new ball game. And the great thing about Reba, Reba's teaching me how to rope. She knows what to do. And like I felt so bad, I was the first day I was roping, I hit her in the head with a rope. And she like, you know, swat her head <laughs> at me and like looked at me like, are you kidding me? like rookie, <laughs> but she's teaching me how to rope because she just, she's so well trained. And, uh, but I've got to make sure I'm giving her the right cues and doing the right things. And, and same with Bud. I mean, Bud, Bud's a well-trained horse and, but you, you know, and sometimes they act confused, like what, what do you want from me? And so it's a really great learning process. Again, that trust part and learning how to work with a horse and, and understanding what they want because they want to please is what mm -hmm. I feel like. They wanna, what do you want me to do? I'll do it. And, um, but you gotta send them the right messages. So it's, it's been, a, it's fascinating to me, just fascinating. Absolutely. So what has been the most surprising thing you've learned or the most surprising experience you've had through your horses so far? Wow, we could go on a lot. I, I, but I, the, the main things are, I think, all the people I've met. It's, this whole new world has opened up and Everybody's connected. Everybody helps each other. And that's Nebraska. I mean, that, I know I understand that, but in the horse world, it's, they're so welcoming. You know, I got a chance to go out and do, train with a rodeo team. Marshall emailed me and said, come on out. And, and they let me train with them. I mean, it's a team. They're training. They're just like our volleyball players. They're, they're out there doing reps and training and working and experiencing failure and, and uh, um, but that whole world and the people I've met are just incredible. And just to give you an example, I'm, we're, we're trailing up tomorrow. We're going to overnight in Laramie. Well, there's a, there's a cowgirl out there who's graduating from Wyoming. She's from the Sand Hills, big ranch. Her dad was an NCAA champion rodeo. And she's inviting me to have dinner 
with her and her family on her day, graduation day. And I'm like, you don't, that, I, that, I, I feel <laughs> uncomfortable. Awesome. And she's like, no, we want you guys to hang with us because she's going to board our horses for the night. Yeah. But just like that world right there. I mean, I've never met her, but I feel like, you know, she's one of my players now. Yeah. And that part of it. And I, but I'll tell you the thing that's blown me away the most is when I drove up for rodeo practice, I drive up with a horse trader and I'm, I'm terrified driving through Lincoln with two horses. And here comes uh, Hallie Reeves in a dually pickup with five, horse, five horses in her big old trailer <laughs> by herself, whips those horses out. She's got four in one hand right out of the trailer. She goes, I'm gonna go over and hose them off. I'll be right back. <laughs> and I'm like, this is a college girl on her own Five, she had five horses in there driving by herself. And I'm thinking, wow, this, this is pretty impressive. You know, how many college kids can do that? So that's the thing that's blown me the way the most. And then to see in those girls, how they compete, how they train, what they're, how fast it is. And um, watching them rodeo, I mean, it's, talk about high pressure. I mean, you get, you're there waiting all day till your event and it's, 10 seconds or less, or you get one shot to rope it and you miss, you're done. So I've just, I've just been really, really impressed with that part yeah. of it. So you were at rodeo practice last week and I couldn't help but watch you. And it almost looked like you were trying to break down the mechanics of, of what you were watching, which I'm sure is a familiar experience where you break down the mechanics of volleyball and hitting and all of those things. What are some things you noticed or some questions that, that, you, that came to mind? Well, there's a lot of technique into roping and um, your angle, your loop, uh, where, where you sit. And so like right away I could see I was doing things wrong. So instead of staying upright, I was sent, sent a message to Reba because I kept leaning forward and pulling my hand left. Well, mm -hmm. she was doing what I told her to do, which, wasn't, <laughs> wasn't what, which is what I didn't want her to do. But I, didn't, I wasn't aware of that. And so they were able to point some of those things out. It's very technical. I think you've got to be pretty good at, at your technique and then your horse has got to understand what you're trying to do. You got to know how, where to get on the, the calf or the steer. Um, and I, the other thing is I think just take, how you take care of horses, you know. Um, there's, there's a whole process. It's a, it's a routine and we do that in volleyball. It's a routine we go through every day. Pre-practice, practice, post-practice, post video. and it's no different on the rodeo team. It's, it's, and it's, the routine starts with, you know, Hallie was hosing those horses off, getting the mud, get, cause she was gonna put the things on their ankles, mm -hmm. you know, and there's a routine, there's a warm up, there's a routine, they're working on their ropes, they're practicing on the dummies, getting warmed up, they're sprinting their horses, getting them ready. And so it's no different than being a volleyball team. And, and so those are some of the things that I've learned. I got so much more to learn, but again, I'm, that's what makes it really fun. You're, you're learning and, and uh, I've met a lot of guys my age, the dads, and, and you know, it, it keeps you young because yep. you, you gotta work. Definitely. So a lot of people are afraid to try something new because of the learning curve. And you obviously have a very open mind about um, learning how to do things and learning how to do things the right way. What advice would you give someone who's kind of on the verge of trying something new or putting themselves out there? Well, I'll, I'll use my wife as an example. She's never ridden, and I just told her, you got to go get lessons. So she found a lady who's given her lessons, and this, this lady is awesome. And she's a great teacher, and she's just breaking everything down from, again, the whole routine you go through. Um, so it's... I, there's people out there, there's videos. I, I got videos on rope and I'm watching because we learn by watching, you know, and I learned so much watching. Uh, I think it's Grant, who's mm -hmm. one of the rodeo guys. Yeah. I watched him. I'm like, this guy's really good. I mean, you don't even have to know anything about rodeo. I'm watching him and what he's doing. I'm like, this guy is really good. And I just saw him go the first time. I'm like, whoa, he's, a, he's in another level. So, um, I just think it's like anything, you, you want to keep growing, experiencing, and you know, um, Nebraska does a great job with the Ollie program of, as people get older, there's all kinds of things you can go into. And um, so anyway, I think it keeps you young and it keeps you growing. And again, I'm trying to also be a better coach and I think it's making me a better coach too. 
Definitely. So you're roping. Can people expect to see you at local rodeos competing <laughs> in the next few years? We'll, we'll have to look at the <laughs> schedules, but uh, um, one of my neighbors up in Wyoming, they rope every morning. Absolutely. So I've been invited to go do that. And um, so when I'm, I'm a, I try, I go kind of back and forth in the summer and, and up there a little bit in the winter. And, and I, I want to, I want to start I, I think I don't know if they bet. I, I'm sure there's some betting going on, and but it's just, it's just, it's a sport, and uh, it's it's uh, it takes a, you got to be patient. I think, and uh, but I'm excited to get in there and do that, because I think, you know, we all love to compete. We love that accomplishment, and like, the first time I rope one of the sleds, I'm like, okay, I want to do this. I want to do this <laughs> again. I want right. I, it's an adrenaline rush. And like, this feels good. It's no different than hitting a great golf shot mm. or, you know, if you're a skier, making a great ski run or something. Um, so it's something I can do to be athletic. And again, you're working with these incredible animals. Absolutely. All right. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share about this pursuit or Nebraska volleyball moving forward? No, I just, I, I think this whole thing uh, also has really connected me with the state, the agricultural part of the state and the horse part of the state. And sometimes when in Lincoln and Omaha, we don't realize all that. And I think I've been invited to 10 brandings now. <laughs> At um, least there's good yeah, food. Yeah, I've got, you know, and I know part of this is KRVN with Jason, mm -hmm. you know, whenever we do the shows in the fall, I always, I always ask, hey, are the, are the farmers out on their combines? Are they listening? And the, sure enough, these guys all start calling in. And this is what it's been like for, mm -hmm. for the horse world. I have all these people reaching out to me, sending emails, inviting me to brandings and uh, go ride in the sand hills. And so, Definitely take up that opportunity yeah. for sure. But it's just helped me connect with the western part of the state. And um, I just feel honored and proud to, to have that connection, you know, in something besides just volleyball. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're proud to have you be a part of our community now. And, you know, you don't get to say that it's your first rodeo more than once. <laughs> so, so you can check that off your list. Yeah. But thank you for sharing about your journey in the Western world. And we're excited to see where you go. Maybe even cheer you on at a rodeo or two. <laughs> do they have senior citizen rodeo? Oh, <laughs> they actually do okay. have um, like 55 plus rodeos. Okay. So. <laughs> that, that's my goal. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode with Nebraska Volleyball Coach John Cook. If you enjoyed this content, you can find more episodes of Breaking the Barrier on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We'll see you in Season 3.